Okay, notice. I'm in the industrial district in Strathcoma. Okay? This over here is Strathcoma Park. This is where they should be walking the fucking dogs. In the fucking park, down the street. Not on a fucking industrial road where they can get fucking run over. Just outside downtown in Vancouver. <laughs> the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. <laughs> You know what's funny is that after pointing out how stupidly you parked, you're not even willing to re-park. Have a nice day, sir. Have a nice day. Yeah. Have a nice day. It would be nice if you reparked your vehicle properly, please. Have a nice day. There's a dude sitting on the bench in a black fucking hoodie pullover. This guy's been going fucking crazy. Like, literally been going fucking nuts. He's been standing up and fucking jumping up and jumping down and doing ballerina things and fucking all sorts of weird shit, man. I was just told by Money Mart that they don't have any money till Monday afternoon, which is bullshit. Okay, that says Western Union on that check. Now, I know anytime you send money, Western Union, you have to pay up front for it. H&R Block sent money to me by Western Union. They pay for it, not me. Because you're telling me you're gonna rip me off for $50 because I want to cash a Western Union check at a Western Union outlet. This is not a Western Union check. That says Western Union on it, does it not? Yes, it does, but it's a Then how can you say it's not a Western Union check when it says Western Union? Okay, so here we are at my friend's place. There's been an RV parked there for about a week. And something I see happening to RV dwellers all the time, some weirdo in a fucking private vehicle, plain clothes, just sitting behind the RVs. He's wearing a Gap sweater. Yeah, he's wearing a Gap sweater. This guy's like high end. You can <coughs> see he's, he's money. Like he's being paid money to do this. This is what I call crowding, okay? This guy was just standing in the middle of the road in front of traffic. We can see a block down. Wow. Okay, so back to this. This guy was in traffic and then he was flailing on the sidewalk, he bashed his head on a concrete wall, passed out for about two minutes. This old, this lady came to see if he was okay. And then this dude, uh, who's already crossing the road beside the guy in the green hat, actually kind of tickled his ear and woke him up. And now he's gone flailing down the block again. All right, so a little bit of an update. Uh, these guys have put a fence around the majority of Oppenheimer Park now. Uh, I'm sure it's in pretense of, you know, we're going to upgrade the grass or some bullshit like that to the park, but what they're really doing is they're pushing the tents out of the park. This guy is not a vehicle dweller. This guy here, this guy is a vehicle dweller. I just parked in front of him, see? This guy is fucking harassing this vehicle dweller. Now...
Usually somebody doesn't have their engine idling when they're doing paperwork or working on their phone or stuff like that. So you gotta wonder, why does this guy have his headlights directly on the back end of this van like this? This is not just fucking something that happens once in a blue moon. I see this happening to all the vehicle dwellers all the way through here. Somebody just idling. They don't live in their vehicle. These guys have these nice, really fucking nice homes, really nice vehicles. Like, why do they need to harass us like that? Hmm. Anyways, let's record this and see what happens. Hey there. How you doing? Good. Uh, is there a reason why you're sitting and just idling and idling and idling? And I, I'm on? freezing. But oh, yeah? yeah, I just sweaty and cycling. But if nice. it's offending you, I, I'll turn it off. Well, usually I, it's pretty offensive to people. Actually, that's not my van. I'm, an, I'm a fellow vehicle dweller. No, no, I, oh, it's okay. It's, uh, it's, it's, oh, I, hey, I... Uh, I was planning to drive away. Yeah, and, and then you get obviously into your I got distracted. Yeah. No, I appreciate you sharing that with me. Yeah. Sorry and about that. Yeah, Vancouver also has a 20-minute idle, so. Yeah. Loss, well. So. Yeah, as I said, I'm sweaty, so I'm chilled right now. So I had the heat on, but anyway. All right. I'm gonna close the window. Sorry, and sorry to bug you. I understand. No, no, no. That's All fair. Right. Fair comment. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Have a good one. So I just saw this guy having binoculars up to his eyes. Oh. This guy's using fucking infrared binoculars to look in somebody's fucking van. That's what's going on.